Every year, TIFF uh, introduces us to the next generation of Canadian talent to the global film industry through the Rising Stars program. Joining us this morning are two of its this year's stars, Jared Abramson and Sophie Nales. Did I say that right? No, he's Nales. All right, Sophie. Nice <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I didn't even ask you that as we got so into talking before the segment even started. So you both are Canadian uh, actor, actress. Um, and you get into this program and it's a, it, I mean, I know, Sophie, for you, it was something that they'd talked to you about doing for years and then all of a sudden, this year, you decided to do it. So what is this program, the Rising Stars program? I'm yet not exactly sure what it is. I just know that it's an awesome program. We get to meet a lot of directors, mm -hmm. some casting producers. We get to have lunch with a lot of different people and our team is awesome. So I think it's just to get to like, have these connections and maybe try to see some films at TIFF at the same time. Absolutely, which is really great. Did you guys see any movies this, this weekend? I saw uh, American Pastoral okay. opening. Yeah, as soon as I got to Toronto, we went straight to the premiere. And you're, you're from Flin Flon, Manitoba, correct? Yes, Home of Bobby yeah, Clark? Bobby Clark, Reggie Leach, Jerry Hart, <laughs> Mel Pearson, <laughs> uh, Simpson. Uh, and, and you worked, is this true, you worked the mines in Flin Flon? Yeah, I worked on uh, Diamond Drill. And a raised board drill underground for two years underground, and I worked on surface for seven months. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And how did you end up an actor? I had a buddy, um, Shane Layden, who's actually in Hello Destroyer, too. We grew up together. He went out to Vancouver first to uh, film school, and uh, he recommended that I go. I had nothing else going on. I was just going to work in the mines forever and be a cage fighter, and he kind of <laughs> gave me another idea. That's right, because you do MMA as I well. I do MMA, too, and I fought for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> had five MMA fights, two kickboxing fights. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. you ended up here. Here we are, Toronto. At 6.20 in the morning on <laughs> Breakfast Television. And it beats going underground at yeah. 6.20 in the morning. I can imagine. I yeah. can imagine. So for you, this program has been, I mean, obviously, your expectations going in, you didn't really have any. Uh, yeah. what, what has it been for you, the Rising Stars program? Yeah, I didn't really know too much about how the program ran. I kind of just came in here and we open arms, you know, see what it was all about. And... Uh, it's, uh, it's a really classy program, like, I wasn't sure if it was just going to be some fluff and, you know, just nothing but pictures and everything, but we're learning a lot. We get to sit down with some cool directors, like she said, cool casting directors, producers, um, industry people on the business side. It's like an intense class almost on the industry. It's stuff that me and Sophie both been in the game for a little while now. We know a lot of these things, but it's always good to get refreshed and mm -hmm. reinforced and hopefully takes us to the next step in our career. Sophie, let's talk about your mo your movie, Mean Dreams. Now, this yeah. premiered in France, correct? At, at Cannes? Cannes, yeah. All right, and it got two standing ovations? I think so, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So let's let's hear about this film. I know it was shot in Sault Ste. Marie, and you're not really a, a, a <laughs> an outdoors girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of I'm more of the city girl. That's what was really funny about that. It's all exterior scenes, and we I think we had like one like one or two days inside, which was really hard for me to like. <laughs> be kind of like living in the woods but it was so fun it got me like outside of what I'm used to doing and it's just this really cute um, beautiful love st kind of love story coming of age type of movie and um, it was so much like Josh uh, my co-star is an amazing actor and it was just so much fun shooting with him well that sounds it, it looks amazing did you get a lot Thank of bug you. bites there um, actually did not because we're no. like on set so they're all <laughs> okay, like, that's good. covering <laughs> us uh, yeah. Jared what about you let's talk about Hello Destroyer um, I was destroyed as a film about a young hockey player gets into some trouble on the ice and then has to deal with the aftermath and uh, to look at behind the scenes in the game and uh, what happens to these athletes after you know the lights turn off and it's uh, it's a pretty heavy film slow pace but if you sit down and you get into it you'll I think uh, if you're Canadian you'll really relate to it and. Uh, Oh, that's a good flick. Did you play hockey growing up? No, did not. I played wow. like, I was in like hockey development. And uh, my dad took me out when I was about five because all I wanted to do was fight. So he's like, we better put him in Taekwondo or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, Hell Destroyer seems like the perfect film for you then. Yeah, it was. It was because I grew up around all my friends' hockey players. My brother's a hockey player. So me not playing hockey kind of gave me the right. I'm like a pariah on the team. And I could relate to that in my life too. I'm like one foot in, one foot out, you know. Amazing. Well, yeah. guys, congratulations on being uh, in the program. Thanks so much for coming in Thank today. You. you can see uh, Jared in Hello Destroyer and Sophie in Mean Dreams. Both films are premiering, appearing, excuse me, right here at TIFF. Congratulations, Thank guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for Thank coming in. Much.